A, cześć, słuchajcie, nagrałem z tutaj obecnym gościem już wywiad, który trwał kilka dobrych minut. Okazało się, że mikrofon, który pożyczyłem zupełnie był wyłączony, także nagrywamy go jeszcze raz. Gość mój kolejny to osoba wyjątkowa, bowiem nie związana ze światem czołgów, tych, które znacie, ale grą War Thunder i War Thunder Ground Forces, Aleksander z firmy Gaging Entertainment. Hello, Aleksander. Hello. Uh, it's really nice to, to have you here. Uh, please tell me once again, because I said that I, I made a mistake with microphone. Uh, so please tell me once again, uh, what are you doing here and what Gaijin is doing here on IM? Okay, uh, so this uh, event, the Intel Extreme uh, Masters uh, Finals here in Katowice, uh, it is a very huge event that attracts a lot of uh, players and gamers uh, from all, all, all over, all over uh, Poland and some neighboring country, countries as well. As I was told, uh, uh, they are expect, expecting between 50 and 60,000 visitors uh, this time. So uh, we wanted to use this opportunity to present our game to the Polish players. So we built the stand uh, here in Spodek in Katowice. And we are very happy with the results because we had a lot of visitors at our stand and we, we are providing our visitors with a chance to play ground forces close beta and win some prizes and try the War Thunder with Oculus Rift. So everyone is very happy and we, uh, we met some of our Polish players already and that uh, just came here to say hello. And it's a very nice event. So do you know any uh, good Polish players f uh, from War Thunder already? <laughs> well, uh, uh, some of them are helping uh, us uh, here because uh, 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 this is our community managers, Polish community managers, and they are helping uh, us here. Uh, they are explaining uh, to visitors how to play the game and uh, what are its main features, etc. So, and uh, we uh, also have uh, some uh, nice guests at our booth. So, for example, we invited uh, a real uh, uh, combat pilot, a Polish pilot, uh, that uh, flew the MiG-29 in Polish Air Force. So, he was able to answer some questions to the visitors about uh, how uh, our game is uh, compared to a real flight, etc. And we are also to going to have some guests from the Dublin Flight Academy, so they will meet with the players and discuss uh, again, once again, uh, how it is, how uh, War Thunder is compared to the real uh, flying, etc. Okay, so uh, now I would like to ask, uh, because I don't want to to compare your product and and, and war gaming product, uh, but what is the, in your opinion, the the main feature, the the key feature of, uh, of War Thunder, especially Ground Forces? Uh, our vision uh, from the beginning of development uh, for, for War Thunder uh, was uh, to make it a simulation of the real war, because in the real war, in the real battles, you can't win by using uh, only planes or only uh, tanks or only uh, ships. Uh, you you have to combine all of the kinds of uh, military forces and this is what we are doing in our game uh, because we want uh, to stay as realistic as it possible in computer game so the second main feature is the uh, realistic experience that we want to provide to our players so we don't have any hit points system for example our damage model is completely realistic and uh, we <coughs> We don't uh, create any uh, imaginary uh, vehicles in our game. We use only uh, existing uh, vehicles, tanks and planes that uh, really were built. There, there are some prototypes in, in our game, but uh, even then uh, there are maybe four of these machines uh, that were built during the war. And we don't uh, plan to add any like blueprint uh, aircrafts or tanks. So uh, I saw one question on, uh, I think on YouTube, are you going to, to put mouse in your game? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Uh, another thing that's uh, come in my mind uh, is um, 
What is your plan uh, about artillery in your game, in, in ground forces? Because to be honest, I'm playing mostly artillery and I really like this class uh, in, a, in another game, of course. And I really would like to, to see uh, some kind of SPGs in, uh, in ground forces also. Well, there are some SPGs, uh, but uh, our idea for the artillery is that some of the light tanks in our game have this ability to call the artillery strike. So they uh, use this ability, it has a cooldown, and they uh, choose some uh, area on the battle map, and uh, uh, after some time uh, there is the artillery barrage in this area, and it is especially effective uh, against some camping <laughs> players. Uh, but the thing is, uh, we have combined uh, battles in War Thunder, so uh, this artillery, it's not uh, some virtual uh, artillery. There are indeed some artillery positions uh, uh, beyond the uh, battle area for tanks, but uh, the enemy uh, planes, Plane uh, especially uh, bombers, yes, they can flew to this artillery position and destroy it. And if it, they destroy it, you will lose the ability to call artillery strikes. So is there any chance that, for example, a uh, light tank is calling artillery support and in the meantime the, the artillery, artillery is, is getting destroyed by the, by the plane and, and there is no artillery strike after that? Yes, yes. Totally. Okay, so, so you will be quite surprised to, to don't have artillery support. <laughs> Of course, and it, it is uh, going to have a very nice uh, dynamic in the battles because you will have uh, uh, to uh, combine a very balanced team because you will need uh, heavy tanks and medium tanks and light tanks for the recon and uh, artillery strikes, but you will also need bombers and fighters because bombers will destroy enemy tanks and you will need fighters to protect your bombers and to destroy uh, enemy bombers and uh, it is going a lot of teamwork uh, to win uh, in the ground forces when it comes out so you said earlier uh, something about ships what is your plan to to add sh uh, ships on battlefield well, uh, we are going to add battleships, but right now all of our resources are dedicated to the uh, releasing the ground forces because uh, our uh, team is not that big. We have like a hundred people in all of uh, Gadget Entertainment, and and I and I speak about uh, like uh, five offices in different cities because we have an office in Germany, for example, but it's only marketing guys and not developers. And all of our developers are concentrated in Moscow, in the main office. And, like I said, we don't have a lot of uh, human resources, so we are making uh, it uh, step by step. So right now we are concentrating on ground forces and on the PlayStation 4 version and our uh, next update that is going to bring the user-generated content for War Thunder. So mods, right? Uh, no, I'm not talking about the mods. Uh, we want to release some tools for our players and they will be able to use these tools uh, and to create some new missions, new maps, new ma okay. uh, or even new skins for the planes or tanks, and even if they are skilled with the 3D Max, for example, or some other program, uh, they will be able to create even new models uh, of vehicles. So, the, the idea so there's a chance that that maybe some someone will create new model for your for your game, right? Of course. Uh, at first, uh, it will be available only for those who created this content, because uh, it, it is already working on our dev server, on the closed server. So you can create your own skin, but only you will see it uh, for the screenshots or some funny videos. But in the future, we are going to implement some system of submitting the content to the de development team, and we have some uh, moderators uh, that will look over it. And it will be like something like Neverwinter, for example, where the users create their own uh, adventures, and then developers uh, choose the best ones and they make it uh, available for everyone. So, that's so, I the idea. so I have to say that's really, really interesting feature. Uh, I didn't uh, know about it. Uh, so there is a chance that 
that, for example, someone really would like to see some Polish tanks, and you are not planning to, to add Polish tanks. Someone can uh, can just create it, right? Exactly, exactly. Th that's the idea, because, uh, like I said, we don't have many developers, and we want to create uh, a lot of uh, things, but uh, we need to choose what we should work uh, on uh, next. But uh, with help of our community and with the help of our players, uh, we hope that we will uh, see a lot more content for every kind of uh, player. So guys, if you want to, to have Polish branch of, of tanks, because we in Poland have had some tanks, sorry, uh, just learn 3ds Max <laughs> for, for a very, very quick time, uh, and then you will see uh, our Polish uh, tanks. Uh, okay, so maybe one last think uh, your uh, stand in uh, I am what we can uh, do there and what we can uh, see um, well you can play some ground forces close better uh, at our stand and you can play some uh, st standard matches uh, in war fun because we we are organizing some small tournaments over our booth so you can come and enlist to tournament and you can win like uh, 500 uh, golden eagles uh, or even uh, some bigger prize and we we are distributing uh, some flyers with special uh, bonus code and it can give you from uh, 150 uh, golden eagles uh, up to 10,000 golden eagles if you are lucky and but there's on, only one code for one, uh, 10k no <laughs> There is not the only one. So, okay. uh, and you can also try the Oculus Rift version of Far Thunder. Okay, so I think that that's all. Thank you for sharing this uh, information about mods because mo so, sorry, not not mod content that that you can create by yourself. Uh, I think that is a really nice thing, and and maybe that will be some kind of. A, uh, main feature for, for for a community, of course. Okay, Alexander, uh, one more thing uh, I would like to ask. Are you going to uh, to make something with eSport with your games? Oh, of course we are, and uh, actually in the moment we are running some huge tournament in War Thunder. It's called Gladiators, and we have like 300 teams from 30 countries, and it is very popular among uh, our players. And we are going to expand into eSports this year, and we want to make this tournament feature in our game that will allow for the easier creation of uh, some local tournaments uh, and stuff like that and we are very interested in cooperating with organizations such as ESL because we uh, we see a lot of uh, uh, potential and we see a lot of interest uh, that in events like uh, I am finals here in Katowice uh, are gathering. So, yes, we have a, a lot of plans for esports, and uh, and I think a lot of them will come to life this year. So maybe on next EM we will see War Thunder uh, tournament on main stage. We'll see. We'll okay. See. So uh, thank you so much. I hope, guys, you uh, now you will know something more about uh, War Thunder and War Thunder Ground Forces, of course. And uh, if you want, uh, just put some comments, and maybe I will have chance to to uh, ask Alexander about uh, your opinions and and your questions uh, via email, maybe. Sure. Okay, so if so, there, I think that's the great chance for you uh, to ask any questions that, that you want to uh, to ask. And I think that's all. Thank you so much for the interview, and I hope we see you again. Thank you.